One more time. Okay, so I saw X-Men First Class when it first came out, and I bought it on Blu-ray. When I saw that the new X-Men movie was coming out, I took out the old Blu-ray, popped it in the Blu-ray player, and watched it with my brother. I was pleasantly surprised. If you saw my review of the first X-Men movie, you know it was a huge letdown for me whenever I watched it after not seeing it for five years and was really disappointed by it. But that was not the case with X-Men First Class. It was actually really awesome. I haven't seen Days of Future Past yet, but right now, this is my favorite X-Men movie that's come out. Even over the new Wolverine, which I thought was pretty cool, it wasn't incredible, but I liked it. Especially, like, the train fight scene. That was pretty awesome. Okay, let's get into it. So X-Men First Class takes place many years before the original X-Men movie does. It basically shows how all of the X-Men in the first X-Men movie became the X-Men that they are. We get to see Magneto's full origin story, even though we kind of saw it in the first X-Men movie, it's much more explained in this one. We get to see Beast's origin story, we get to see Mystique's origin story. It was all very cool. So the movie is set in the 60s. There's this big nuclear war thing happening, and the guy that basically tortured Magneto as a kid to turn him into Magneto is trying to make a nuclear war happen. That guy is played by Kevin Bacon. While Kevin Bacon is trying to make all this stuff happen, Michael Fassbender, who's playing young Magneto, is trying to track him down and kill him. At the same time as all that, Professor X and Mystique are going to college. At least I think they were. By the way, Mystique is played by Jennifer Lawrence. Mm. <laughs> Sorry for that. So basically, the CIA want Professor Xavier and Mystique's help to stop Kevin Bacon from making nuclear war. So they join up with the CIA. While they're tracking down Kevin Bacon, they see Magneto trying to kill him. Professor Xavier saves Magneto, and Magneto joins their team to stop Kevin Bacon. What the X-Men don't know is that Kevin Bacon also has mutant powers. He can absorb basically any kind of energy and use it to make explosions, or to put it in people's mouths and make them explode, or to melt people, lots of different kind of things he can do. There's like a big fight scene, and a bunch of things happen, and it's very cool. Magneto does something pretty awesome that I won't tell you guys because I don't want to spoil that part for you. So yeah, it is a very cool movie. There's a couple parts in the movie like, okay, that's just, uh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. But there's very few of those compared to the original X-Men film. I definitely have to say my favorite part of this movie was Michael Fassbender. Just a small part he had in Inglorious Bastards because he's an American guy and he's pretending to be British, pretending to be German. The action scenes were really cool. They felt very large on some parts and the very up close and personal on the more undercover mission parts. It's cool to see how Professor X gets in a wheelchair. I would say that if you're looking for something to watch on a Saturday night, this would be a great film. Definitely check this movie out. Okay guys, so I know this is a little shorter than normal, but I'm about to go watch the new X-Men movie. Hopefully I'll have a review for that up in the next couple days for you guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really active on Twitter and Facebook, so the link to both of those are down in the description. Go check those out. We can chat about movies or whatever you guys want to talk about. So yeah, thank you so much for checking out this video. See you later guys. Peace out.